Welcome back guys to another video. In this one, we're gonna be throwing a leveling kit on my buddy's truck along with some fuel rims and tires. So it's gonna look pretty sweet once we're done. So uh, yeah, I was like, I might as well film it because it's gonna be a fun transformation thing. Right now it's just on stock suspension and, and wheels. So we're just gonna add in a two and a half puck or a two inch puck. I don't know what size it is. Two and a half. And um, yeah, it should look pretty cool when we're done. So last video was us uh, go and pick up my new trailer. And uh, now this one's gonna be installing a leveling kit on a truck with some cool wheels. So stay tuned. So getting into this, sorry for the lighting. I have some upgraded lights up here, so it makes it a little better. I'm gonna turn these guys on too to make uh, the shop. Actually, let me do it right now. The garage is not too full, but it's not. Whenever we have a truck in here, there's not a lot of moving room because I push everything forward. So we got that light on. I'll also turn this one on. Then I'll show you what we're working with. So if we come over here to the truck, I got this wheel off. I gotta get this strut out. So simply gonna undo this nut, pop it up. And I already took off all the lines so nothing will get caught. And then we're gonna take this sway bar link loose. And uh, we should be able to just take out that, take out these two lower bolts to the strut and swing this kind of out of the way and get the strut out. So we'll see how it goes. So we're gonna start with this upper control arm nut. I already got it loosened. It's very loose, it's about to come off. Don't even need a wrench right now. Okay, the, the nut is off. So I'm gonna loosely put back on the nut actually. I'm gonna go get a hammer and smack it. Shout out to Titus for uh, painting this hammer orange back in middle school. Okay, let's see, oh, I missed. There we go. So as you can see, I don't know if you actually could see. Yeah, you saw it pop up. Now, you want to put your hand... Uh, I'm putting it you. I know it will shoot up, so you got to be careful. I'm going to take the nut off now. And this is going to want to fall down. Weird. Okay. So I thought these would want to go up. I guess that's as high up as it's going. Which is nice, I guess. Okay. That's either gonna suck or be okay. <laughs> okay, so next, sway bar link. And we want to make sure we're supporting this as well. So we'll just leave it hanging off to the side like that a little. So let's take this off. I almost forgot to hit record. Okay. So we got the sway bar. I'm going to grab the size that goes to the lower bolts on the shock. Ain't got the juice for this. We gotta get the big gun out. Oh, it's only on two bars too. My my big Milwaukee can't get it out. My only excuse is that it's on two bars battery, so it's not as powerful. But I think it's gonna get it out just fine. So we got 15 mil. What size? 15. Okay. Okay. Let's get this thing buzzed out. Too, but I'm gonna get up under there. 
need a better angle to work on it. One. And two. Sweet. Let me move these over to the side. Okay, moment of truth. Does it lower down? Oh yeah, look at that. With ease. So I'm trying to not take apart anything I don't need to. Which can be a blessing and a curse at the same time. Sweet, okay. So we got the shock. It's hanging right now by the tie rod and the axle. So if we need more slack and we're struggling, we can always take the tie rod off. And then if we still need more slack, we can take the axle nut out. But let's hope we don't have to do that. So now let's take these top nuts off of here which I believe I maybe can get to them from the engine bay. Yep, we're gonna do that. The lighting for you guys is gonna suck up here, but there's one bolt, two bolt, or three, uh, not bolts, but nuts. We're just gonna put the gun on right up here, way up above them. We're just gonna... One done. I'm gonna grab it before we lose it and can't ever find it. So that would suck. Now we're gonna go to this one. Two. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to film and work. Trust me. The amount of productivity I could be yeah, if I wasn't holding So we got all three now, and you've heard that clunk. That was our shock falling out for us. So that was amazing. Oh, I gotta climb back out. <clears throat> oh, my foot's stuck. Ooh. So, now that we're down here, look at that. Our shock can nicely come out. Let me set you down. When your hands are all greasy and you have a $1,000 camera. Ugh, sucks touching it. Okay. Got it. Sweet. Now, as you can see, this shock is pretty darn worn out, super rusty, so uh, I'm actually buying two new ones. My dad's going to pick them up right now, right before the store closes. So instead of starting to install the leveling kit on that, I'm just going to move over to the other side and do the exact same thing. Just buzz it all out. Yeah. I'm going to set you guys up right here. I want to make sure you can see. Okay, yeah, you can. Boom, look at that beautiful lighting. Okay. So now we're on the other side of the truck. We're gonna get this locked out super quick. So I'm putting this lug nut socket on. Fits this truck. Quickest tire change ever. Uh, what is it? What are they called? Freaking, why am I brain farting? NASCAR. <laughs> there we go, record time, right? Oh my goodness. I always slide the tires underneath the truck. And that's because if it falls off the jacks or the jack, um, 
I have a less likely chance of getting absolutely freaking crushed. I don't know what kind of angle that you guys got. Oh, that's beautiful. Did you guys really think I wasn't gonna WD everything before I try and take it out? Because so you're crazy. Definitely gonna put some WD on it. Okay. So WD-40 on you. And you guys up here. One of them has one of those stupid caps for the harness. I should really swap all my tools over before I start so I don't have to like cut the clip a million times as I walk to the other side. Harness off like that because it sits on top of the threads. There we go. Amazing. Let me go grab all my tools. Okay, we're back. Here we go. So we're going to start by taking this little guy out. ABS line, I think, is what it's called. Brake line. Bracket. Come on. Get off of there. There we go. Just like that. Nice and easy. Toss that in there. Then we're going to find my beautiful 15. No, it's 18. 18 millimeter wrench. I'm going to start loosening this upper control arm just like we did the other one. Can't fit a socket on this one, so no quick process. Oh, it's hot too, man. Really cooking. <laughs> My phone's ringing, somebody's calling me. Let me go check, this might be important. Perfect, the registers close at uh, nine. Woo! It's 9.05 guys. It's, it's 9.05, I don't know how close I am to it, but uh, my dad is on the phone with me right now. He got the he got the struts right before they closed, so that's really, really, really good. So he's going to come home with the new struts, and we're going to throw the leveling kit on that and throw the new struts in. And this thing's going to be riding, riding real nice. So, thumbs up to that. Uh, see you soon, Dad. Hey. I, oh. Do you, you need them right now, or can I stop and get gas because I'm almost out of gas? I don't, I don't need them right now. I'm taking apart the other side right now. I got the other strut out. Okay. Yep. Right. I'll be home a little bit. I just want to go ahead and get gas on 15 miles. So. Yep. Sounds good. Go for it. Okay, bye. Bye. That is dad. And dad. It's just cold. Okay. Now let's continue where we were. Okay, I got the nut off. I'm putting it loosely back on. I'm gonna smack this side. Hold up. Pop! Oh, I forgot to show you guys. I had it still facing on me. Well, I popped it, you see? Boom. It's beautiful. Now we can thread it off. Oh, this one seems like it's gonna shoot up. You wanna. Really make sure you're holding it down. It's like a dead trap. Terrible idea. <sighs> Got it. Well, on my truck, these shoot up. So, they're not on this one, so that's good. Now, let's buzz these out. Got my wrench on it. Where's my, where's my little gun? There it is. See if the little Milwaukee can get this one off. Come on guy, you got it. You got it, bud. Good work. I'm telling you, it's not even a fuel and it kills it. Love that thing, love it. So we're gonna support this just so it doesn't fall on us. That'd be no fun. We would be in control. Should be good enough. 
Now we're gonna get the Milwaukee gun and buzz this out. Two out. Beautiful, that's what we like to see. Okay, now we're gonna lower this and it should come down. Yep, just like that. Just like the last one, guys. Just like the last one. That's what we like to see. Now I'm going to go back up in the engine bay and zip the top bolts out. If I can get to them. Yep, they're accessible. Let's do it. You're not going to be able to see again, but I got the socket on it. One out. Just like that. Gonna reach in and grab it so we don't lose it. Secured. Go ahead and do the next one. It's on it. Bingo. Go reach in and grab it. Okay, last one. Reach in and grab it. Boom. Okay. Now let's go get the shock. <laughs> Woo! Let me set you up so I can get it out. Perfect. You guys can see. It's like the last one. Oh, I'm gonna drop it. <laughs> These are so heavy for no reason. Okay, got it. Boom! Got both out. Now we wait on Slowpoke Dad to show up with the new parts so I can finish this up. But yeah, sweet. And I'm cleaning you guys off. You guys are filthy. Oh my gosh, guys. The new parts have arrived. As you can see, this one is just junk. And this one's beautiful. So let's throw the pucks on them and throw them into the truck. So here's our leveling kit. It's two and a half, and the nice thing about the two and a half kit is it goes right on top, and as you can see, the studs do not stick out. When you have a two inch or anything smaller than that, the studs stick out and you have to cut the studs. And so what you do is you put the nuts on first, cut the studs, and then you back the, the nuts off so that it reached, like kind of taps the stud. But uh, that would have killed me to have to cut studs on a brand new shock or strut. So I'm so happy that these are two and a half and we don't have to do that. So let's just quickly install the nuts and throw them in. Don't worry you guys, you're probably like, whoa, 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 you're skipping a step. No, no, I'm just showing you. So you wanna put these right here through the back sides, thread them in with red thread locker. You do not want these coming out. So that way, when you slide these on the studs like this, like that, you no longer have studs on the top of your, sh uh, your struts. But these guys, right here ah, are going to act as your new studs and they're going to stick through like that. So they're just going to replace these silver guys with these. And then your, these are the ones I go, those, these guys will go right here like that. Bada bing, bada boom. So just in case if you guys were confused about what I was talking about earlier, you can see here's my strut with the studs. Now I just installed the new studs in here. So you're just gonna set these simply on like this. Well, it only goes on one way, so there. So now those studs are gone. We have our new studs. So now we use the hardware and put them on these ones. And then we put these ones through the truck. Boom, just like that. We got the pucks on, nice and secure. I used red thread locker on all of this just because 
this puck is now part of the strut. We want this to think of like one piece. So you don't want these loosening up or anything like that. Obviously, on these, I'm just gonna use the nylon nut and washer, but on all the hardware here, since we're kind of making two pieces wanna be one piece, I put red thread lacquer on everything, and that's what everybody else does. So I suggest to just play it safe and do that. And since my dad is back, he's right over there, peeking around the corner, I'm gonna have him hold the camera while I work on putting these both back in. <laughs> So yeah, let's get to it. Okay, for YouTube's sake, so you guys can watch, my dad's gonna hold the camera and watch me struggle instead of lending me a hand. So, yeah, let's start putting this in. So we came out like this. It's just like that. We got the strut down in. Now we gotta line up these holes. Okay, so I'm gonna have to twist. Okay, there we go, we're lined up. Now we go up and in. Struggle, struggle, struggle. This is where if the strut was two and a half inches shorter, it would go in nice and easily. But I gotta pull down on the lower control arm and pop this up. Pop. Ah. Ah. There we go. Just like that. Okay, so as you can see, view down here, we got this sitting on its mount area. You're gonna have to twist these, which sometimes you can get the, the nut through or the bolt through and then put the nut on the top and you can slowly work it with a wrench and it will turn itself straight and flat and be perfect. Um, so I got all four studs through here. So what you didn't see since you were so close in was dead back away a little. I had my chest and my forearms, my hands were holding the strut right here but my forearms, I was pushing down really hard on this. And as you can see, see how I can lower that? I pushed it down enough to where the studs would poke through and then I let go and that put enough tension to raise this back up to where now the, the studs are not gonna fall through the hole. So now I'm gonna put one of the washers and nylon nuts on the top. Well, I'm gonna pull all three and I'm gonna tighten them down well, actually, I won't tighten them down until I get the bottom bolt set, just in case I gotta move some stuff around. But yeah, it's really not that hard to do this, guys. So y'all are gonna level your trucks and throw big tires on now. Victor's probably gonna be watching this video, guys. And I'm probably gonna have to be doing this to his truck in the future, so get my practice in now. You know? No, Victor wants to put like an eight inch lift on his truck. It's gonna be crazy. Okay. So I got those nuts all loosely in. Now let's work on these lower ones before we get too far ahead of ourselves here. So when I took these out, the threads were up like this. So I'm gonna do it the exact same way that they came out. I'm gonna put the bolt through the bottom and up to the top. So if I'm lucky here, which I'm not that lucky. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try and get some, I don't know how I'm gonna go about doing it, but what I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna rotate this so it's flat. And once I figure out how I did that, I'll show you. So cut the clip. Okay guys, so you're gonna wanna get channel locks. I was using these little guys right here and I put them around the, the strut like this. So if you look over here on these ones, I put them on like this, right? Nope, do that again. Boom, like this. Add them on like this. And to get it to where it needed to be, it was sitting on like that, right? 
I have this big pipe because I could not do crap with just the little thing. And I had this pipe around it like that and I used the pipe and I pulled down like this and it tilted it flat but obviously it was raised up because of the gap of this between the lower control arm and the strut. And my dad put the bolt up through the other side for me and well I don't have them tight right now guys but um, my dad stuck the bolt up through or he was like tapping it a little bit with the hammer and then I put the nut on the top and then we used this nut to pull it flat so that we could easily just put in the other bolt and put the nut on the top and it sucked it so sucked but the thing is now we got our strategy down so we're gonna go over to the other side and we're gonna kill it like absolutely kill it so let's head over there you guys may call this jank but I promise you good luck getting yours on as you watch me easily get this on okay you ready dad we got our knee pad things too so we're nice and comfortable See you guys. Oh, I hope I wasn't blocking the shot. If I was, I apologize. My bad. So we got now one bolt in. So now that one bolt holds it. So now I can take this thing off, take our channel locks out. That is not making my Milwaukee struggle, guys. I'm just slowly putting it up because I don't want to go fast. Now this side, watch this, guys. Ah! If I can find where it goes, we might just have to tighten the other side just a little more. Mm -hmm. So, let me get back over there. joke look how easy that was guys if you have an easier way comment it below i would love to hear it talk about the top part i'll come back with the torque wrench on those suckers so on the top here i just barely put on that nut like hardly on these back ones i went just that one tight this yeah one's this still this was. one I went a little ways down, and that one I didn't really go much down. I don't know if it really matters, but there's the details. Yeah, it helped torque it down. It, it helped uh, align, align it. the torque. Yeah. But yeah, look at that. The other side, we struggled for a long time until we got channel locks, big pipe. Because just channel locks, we were struggling because you hardly could pull it back. And then once you got the big pipe on it, it was just literally a joke. So you just pull with one hand with the pipe and the other one you can use to like move this around while somebody helps slide the bolt up. It's, it's honestly not bad, but it took some experimenting to get the method down. But now it's light work from here. 
So I'm just gonna start zip, zip, everything back together. It's a repeat of what you did to take stuff apart. So yeah. What you doing? I am tightening up these top. Oh, tightening up these front or top strut. The top of the struts, the strut tower. From here, because it's easy and comfortable. Yeah. Got one tightened going on to the other, and then I'll check all of them. So these, yeah, on the on the going in process, there's not a lot of guns. It's more just wrenches or ratchets, um, wrenches and ratchets. That way you can feel how tight you're tightening them, and then obviously always suggest a torque wrench as well, and look up the torque specs, which I have, and we'll be using after I get them to where I feel like is good with the wrench and ratchet, so, yep. Okay, so on this side, how you're gonna do this, it's not easy at all. Nothing really is easy once you add in the puck, but uh, on the other side, we got it all together, and the strategy here is get your jack, raise it up as high as you can until it starts to go off your jack stands, and then come here with a, uh, your break, uh, your um, pry bar, which my dad prefers to use a crowbar for some reason, even though I have my nice pry bar about home from work. And you wanna come in here and go around a coil like this, and grab it, and as you can see, I'm doing this with one hand, but my dad would be helping me. You're just gonna pull it down like this. You see how it's starting to head towards? But you see, I have it in the wrong one. You want to go one more up like this and um, that way that will give you enough oomph to get it in and get the thread started but I'm gonna need my dad's help so cut to when we have it done so right here we got it you see it's not all the way down you're not gonna get it all the way down you're gonna start tightening this nut and it's gonna pull it in, and if it starts spinning, sorry, there's no light. Show the crowbar. But yeah, there you go. My dad has this the pry bar, and it's not a crowbar. I, I gave I kicked this crowbar out. I said no, and he's using pry bar. But um, yeah. As you can see, I'm just tightening it. Not really tightening. It, I'm talking too much, and it's gonna start to spin. So even with all the up force and the down force that the jack and my dad are putting on it, it's still spinning. So your best bet is just to get it on as tight as you possibly can and then just throw the rim on and set the truck back on the ground and finish it off. Because that's what I'm going to do and hopefully it works. If not, <laughs> I don't know what to do. But yeah, with these leveling kits, they put a lot more stress on these upper control arms and these upper ball joints. So aftermarket. So an aftermarket one of these will help. With that, I have them on my truck. And I suggest getting them for your truck too. Alright, it's done. But yeah, it's done. As you can see, it's just spinning now. So we're gonna move on and tighten up everything else on here. Like these, the lower bolts, um, our sway bar link, and this bracket. And then this ABS line, and we'll be good. So, right here, we got the upper control arm all tightened down. So, what we did was we lowered the truck, and it still was spinning. And then it hit me. I was like, Oh, are you kidding me? It has an Allen. So, right here, you see, I got one of my little Milwaukee Allens in it, and then we have a quarter wrench holding it. That's what my dad is holding. And then I just was turning it with the big wrench. And so we got it all nice and tight. And now we're going to go over to the other side and do it. So yeah, don't be like me and think you have to put the tire back on and lower it. I mean, it definitely helped because it, it definitely moved it closer. So there was a lot of easiness. So I mean, you could do it if you wanted to. But just know there is an Allen to hold it in place. It's just... 
it was kind of hidden because I was like, man, I swear these have something where you're supposed to hold them down. Normally they have like a little flat spot or something that you could put a wrench around. Well, this one, it was kind of hidden. And I was like, wait, it's hollow. It's not like filled. And of course there's an Allen in the hollow spot. I'm like, oh, found it. So we got that all squared away. Upper ball joint looks good. And we're gonna go over to the other side and tighten her up. Okay, so I'm editing right now and uh, I came across this next clip and I'm like standing here like this and I'm talking in slow-mo and I'm like, what the heck happened? So I messed something up with the film on that clip. But I basically was standing right here and I was saying, hey guys, it's the next day. Um, we got all the suspension buttoned up last night and um, now all I have to do is throw on the wheels and tires this morning. So I went into AutoZone and got the right lug nuts since the big lug nuts from the stocks did not fit. And now it's time to throw these rims on. And so then I started throwing the rims on and I didn't really film much of that because it's just you get how to throw a rim on. And then I cut to this next clip, so yeah. I got the truck all finished up with a successful test drive. No clunks, no nothing, no rubbing. So these tires fit really well with this two and a half inch leveling kit. And uh, check out the, the end result here. So in here, we got the brand new front struts. They look way better than the previous ones. And I also did some touch up paint wherever there was like rusty spots. So it looks amazing in here. So job well done. And then, yeah, cut to what the truck looks like. We got the new rims and tires on. Looks really sweet, if you ask me. I think it looks amazing, so let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, that's what I've been up to. Not too bad of a job. And then it has a really cool outcome, if you ask me. Any kind of level or lift with wheels and tires. Always change the truck so much. So thanks again for watching this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I got more videos coming out on other things as well. But uh, in this one, we did a little truck build, and it looks sweet. So, uh, yeah. Peace out. Bye.